Hey everyone, this is Michelle Samp with Caldwell Banker Heritage Real Estate. I'm the local realtor in the Quakertown area. I wanted to try and do something a little bit different today because of the pandemic and the buyers and the sellers can't sell their homes the traditional way. I wanted to uh, work on a visual tour that the buyers could go through the house and and the good news is normally when you visit a home, you get maybe an hour to view it. Um, so the good thing about this is you can watch the visual tour all day long and you can uh, look up and you can look down and you can look in the corners and, and everywhere that you would look when you walk through it, but now you can spend more time. So I think that's a good point, you know, and you can always ask questions. So what I wanna show you today is the visual tour of 160 Green Street in Sellersville, but I wanted to also give you some information on the property as well. So I'm gonna start by sharing my screen and I'm doing this for the first time, so cross your fingers, let's, let's make this work, okay? So I go down here, share the screen. I'm going to come up here, say share. And I'm actually going to show you this first, OK? So this is what the uh, MLS looks like if you go into like realtor.com. Uh, this will show you that the property is 160 Green Street, Sellersville, and it's a uh, a very nice Cape Cod on a quiet street. And the price on this property is $311,900. So let me tell you a little bit about the property. It is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it's got 1,782 square feet on the first floor or above ground, I should say, you know, for the first floor. And there is an upstairs to this property. Um, there is also a finished basement that uh, adds some square footage as well, about 371. Uh, so the property has approximately about 2,100 square feet. Two of the bedrooms are on the first floor, master and a second bedroom. And then there's a third bedroom on the second floor uh, with a full bath and, uh, and a a uh, room that they're using for an office. It's kind of like a loft feel. So I'm gonna show this all to you through the video tour, but as I'm going down here, the taxes are $4,000. Uh, here's the sizes of the room. And again, you can view all this uh, on uh, realtor.com or uh, ask me for it. You can contact me through my website, through Caldwell Banker Heritage in Quakertown, or all my information will be on YouTube. You can find me, you can definitely find me. So, but a little bit about the house is it does have um, uh, hardwood floors. Uh, the bathrooms are all redone uh, with uh, quartz countertops. Um, there is, um, one and a half bath on the first floor, and then a full bath, like I said, on the second floor. Uh, it does have dual heating zones. The central air conditioning is brand new, uh, new windows and doors and an updated electrical service. So uh, it, it has been uh, maintained very well uh, and it is move in ready. So let's switch over and see the inside of the home. All right, here we go. Let's go to this screen. Here it is. Now you can see that uh, it's it's good for spring because the outside uh, landscaping is starting to come to bloom. It's a brick front. So here when we walk in this door, see we can see what's right there, the steps and way back here is the kitchen. So let's walk in and there we are. Uh, we can follow it and we can go upstairs or we can follow it and go into the living room and to the kitchen. So I'm gonna actually start right upstairs since it's here and you can see that the steps are also all hardwood and uh, real nice uh, hardwood floors, mostly throughout the house. 
uh, it's all been freshly painted, as you can see. Now here's the uh, bathroom on the second floor, looking really nice with some tile floors. And sometimes this is a little hard to um, finagle because it's 360 and I'm kind of new at it. So, you know, bear with me. These circles down here help you and to guide you into the room. But like I said, you know, once you're in here, you can uh, look totally around the room. It's 360. There's the uh, loft out there in the bathroom, but you can look up, recessed lighting, you can look down. And here we're coming across. I keep getting a little off angle here, but again you know you just got to work your way through it because it does show you everything so let's get over here there's what it looks like out this window and this is where the seller works from home and it's very comfortable space and it's a little musician's room and of course it's got a seating area as well and again like i said it's got a lofty feel to it so let's go back downstairs. I went right through the banister on that one. So let's go down and if we wanted to go out, we could certainly go out, but let's come into the living room. This is the view from the front door. And again, beautiful hardwood floors, freshly painted, some built-in shelving. Uh, coming into the kitchen, big eating area, uh, a desk for computer work. Um, nice cabinets. You can go outside and see the deck and see the view from outside there. Let's try that. And voila, we're outside and there's extra parking there, as I said. So it's off street parking, a nice little deck for you to cook on and enjoy eating outside. Now this is the view when you come in from the outside, plenty of counter spot, spot space. <laughs> Stainless steel refrigerator comes with the property. Um, we could go downstairs. Like I said, it is a finished basement, but I'm going to finagle my way into the hallway. Oh, into the hallway. Let's do this here. There you go. Got to get right at the right spot so that we can either choose to go down or choose to go straight through. So it's got a little hallway area here. Goes right back into the master. Big walk-in closet. And let's see the view. Look at that. Nice view. Alley parking. I mean, when you, when you come into the house, instead of parking on the street, you can come into the basement. There is um, uh, a walkout basement, of course, and you can come into the mud room. So here we go. This is the new master bath. It's been redone, quartz countertop, tile floor, uh, tile bath. And you can see this little cutout here. The seller is very pleased with that. She said that really comes in handy uh, viewing or, or taking a shower where the where you can store all your shampoo and stuff. So let's go around here and get back out in the hallway. See this this is where the master is and the kitchen was back there but we're, we're actually going to make a turn here and how about if we go into this bathroom here and another bathroom with quartz and tile floor and all freshly painted. We'll go back out to the hallway and this is the second bedroom on the first floor. You can look up, we can look down, we can spin around because it's 360 folks so that you can see exactly where you are in the house. Okay. So now we're going to go downstairs so you'll be able to see all the utilities down there. And this is where the men are going to come into play. They love their finished basement. There's actually a, a gas fireplace down here too in the, in the finished part. 
So this is the finished area when you're coming down here, but I'm gonna skip over here for a minute. And we're gonna go into this utility room. I did tell you that it's dual zoned. There you go. You can see all the updated electric, some storage boxes. You can see around the floor, doesn't look like there's any leaks down here. Room for extra um, refrigerator, freezers. Uh, there's a water softener, washer and dryer. I'm coming back out, oh, didn't mean to do that. Coming back out into this area is more storage and a workbench. So plenty of space here. Okay, 360, spin it around. Let's go back out, spin it around, and look at this. This takes you back to your mudroom, but let's not forget this area. Spin it around because we've got more storage. Mudroom, you come in, you park your car, you come in this area, drop off your boots, your coats, and if you wanted to turn on the fireplace, you can build in bookcases. You can certainly see this right up close. Looks like you're right there, right? And look at the area. They've got the TV there. That doesn't stay, but there is room for one. So there you go, all comfy. All right, I'm going to take you out back. Keep getting messages here, not sure if you see them or not, but let's go out back and see what's going on. All right, you're coming in the alley. And here is the backyard. So that's our tour around, I'm not sure. Um, this looks like this takes you back in. That was supposed to be on the back door. So anyway, maybe we got to fix that. However, we did manage to get back in. So like I said, you can go over this so many times back and forth. You wanted to see maybe the utilities just a little bit closer. How close can I actually get? Hey, well, that's pretty close. Because it's so clear, you can see the, boom, the beams up here, everything. You can, you can see everything in here. That's an important part that you want to always look at. It does have a well, but it has public sewer. So that's good news. Let's spin around here. All right. Oh, I want to go up these steps. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right, you guys practice on this, okay? And uh, get yourself back upstairs, uh, sit on the sofa, talk about it with your spouse. Definitely give me a call and ask me any questions. I think I'm gonna run this as an open house so we can have a chat possibly through the whole thing. So I'm gonna stop sharing. There you go, here I am. Again, my name is Michelle Samp and I'm with Coldwell Banker Heritage and I am here to answer any of your questions. You can find me on YouTube, you can Google my name, you can go to my website, Coldwell Banker Heritage, and, um, or our office, but my name, my number is all there for you to contact, okay? I hope this helps with your visual tour. Spend some time, let me know. All right, guys, you have a great day.